why do the ulama, the alphas, the imams, why do they have to be in front of uh, this fight against corruption? Almighty Allah says in Surah uh, Ali Ibrahim, Quran 3, chapter 110, Kuntu Khaira Ummatin, Kuntu Khaira Ummatin, Tamuruna Bil Maru, Watana Hauna Ali Munkar, Watu Minuna Bila. That is one. Almighty Allah says, he has shown us, he has done a lot of favors on, on you. Don't forget that at the beginning he said, Allah says he wants to go to Nidja, he will be the Arab Khalifa. I want to create my representative on Mars. If you represent Allah, are you, to, are you supposed to be guilty of corruption? No. So Allah is now telling us why he has tagged us to fight corruption. He has told us several in the world, as you know very well. But he is telling us that Kuntun Khaira Ummatin Ukhurijat Minas. When we talk of nations, human beings, Almighty Allah says, You Muslims, Antun Khaira Ummatin Ukhurijat Minas. You are the best nation, the best example of human being, Ukhurijat Minas, ever raised up for mankind. For these three, three reasons, Almighty Allah says, we are the best. If we are the best, then we must not only set example, we must pursue that things work out well, wherever we are. You are a Muslim, you are working in a place, you are in charge of the resources of Nigeria, let prove that you are a Muslim. Apart from the one that you is your legitimate army, make sure that nothing gets missed. Because this thing is a manna. It's a manna, it's a trust on you. It's a trust on you. And of course, even if you think you can do a bracadabra so that the government will not discover you, what about God? Will your trip work when you meet your mighty Allah? It's not to work. Allah, Allah is a lot of people will absorb all what you people absorb. Your, your, your brain, your senses cannot trick Allah. There's no way you can trick Allah. No, no matter. You might be the best speaker. You might be the smartest. You might be the most brilliant. What is your brain? What is what you are going to say? So, Allah will discover you. So, when, when you are put in trust of a situation, and this is what we have always told everybody. We will we are going to we get because this thing involves all of us, not only political leaders. You see, there are so many people, there are so many people that if they get there today, they will do us, they will do us. Isn't it? Yes. If they get there today and they say, Oh, we are in charge of Ministry of Finance, oh, we are in charge of petroleum, they will do us. We have seen it in Nigeria. We have seen it. They will do us. But you as a Muslim, and it, and, and, uh, and it's lamentable that a good number of them, they call themselves Muslims. But you see the problem with that, when they are there stealing money, they, they believe that they are known. They will, they will go to, some of them will lose it that uh, every year they will go to Haram Kappa home. Umrah. Once they perform Umrah, it's wiped away all their sins and they come out to, to start doing the same thing. Who are they deceiving? You hide the Umrah, the Waladina, Ma'u, Amru, Wamayak Dauna, Ida, and Pusa, and Umrah, and Shuru. They think they are deceiving, uh, they are deceiving you and me and the other will be deceived also. Because that is in the, these rats, they don't know anything. They are not deceiving anybody but themselves. And the money that you amass, you amass, okay, you can steal all the money in Nigeria. God is greater than you. He's greater than you. I'm telling you, God is greater than you. You can steal all the money in Nigeria. God is greater than you. Because by the time God says yes, 
meet me. Wallahi, one day I will not go with you. The money you have, use all your life to see. You will leave it behind. The life you know to sell your wife to an You will leave the, 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 the fortune, you leave it behind and you go alone. I sympathize. I, I just I sympathize with some people that they say okay, like, like like some people who uh, and we have seen people who want to bury their dead. They go and buy the car, decorate it with a lot of money, and put the, the, the body in the car and they bury the car and go like that. Right into the book of You can see how human beings can deceive themselves. Allah says, Go to hire a woman to you that in now. You are the best of nations ever raised for mankind. Why? Why are you the best? Tamrud and Bil Maruf. Tamrud and Bil Maruf. You know what is good. You have read it in the book. And Allah has given you in that one in your brain. It's already in your brain. You, anybody who sees what is good, who know this is good. And when you see what is bad, you know this is bad. So, by the time Allah Jalla says that you command people to do good things. And when you see them doing bad things, what do you do? You talk to them to avoid bad things. You advise them leave what you are doing is not good. Go away from it. What two will you know in Allah? And of course, you believe in Allah. These are the three things. Of course, believe in Allah, as you know, it encompasses so many things, which you know very well. To, to have belief in Allah is very, very important. So these are the, these are the three things. And Almighty Allah also says in Surah to the Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 149, Allah says, Almighty Allah has he said he has made you a balanced, balanced nation. Balanced in the sense. You are the middle course. You are standing in the middle course. That is, you don't talk, you don't go extreme behind, and you are not extreme uh, in the front. Extreme behind are those who don't believe in Allah at all. They don't believe God exists. They don't. Why you say God is God? They are no God. The extremists are those who they they will tell you they believe there is God. But they cannot get to God directly. They have to find something good that will be a little man. They might, they might be an idol, they will concentrate on their own idol. You might be somebody, they choose that, well, it's also God. You can pass a message to the Supreme God. So those are the extremists. extremists. And behind are the, those who don't believe in Allah at all. But the Bible says, We have made you a balanced nation, and we have made you. We have made you we are put in the middle of us. So that you will be witnesses to what people are doing. As Muslims, when you see somebody worshiping idol, you know this one is, is not worshiping Allah. And he knows that you know that he is not worshiping Allah. Allah. And if you, if you see somebody who does not even believe in Allah at all, you will know him also. So you are sure that I am a nurse. Why are you not sure that I am a shahida? And your prophets, or your imams, they will also be sure that I am a nurse. They will know, they will be called to witness on the day of judgment. This is your follower. This was among your followers in the most. What do you know about him? All these things, accounts will be given to Almighty Allah. So these are some of the reasons why Almighty Allah has chosen the Muslims that we have to lead in the fight against corruption. What? Because you know the evil of corruption on everything, on our society. 
Imagine what corruption is doing to all of us. The issue of people not getting jobs is because of corruption. The issue of not having hospital is because of corruption. Not having electricity is because of corruption. Anywhere you look at, anywhere, any sphere of life you look at, is because people they are they are, they are, they are that are sitting on what is supposed to be used to better the lot of, 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 of Nigerians. And you will not allow it to come out because we have been hearing, oh, we do this, we do that. Okay, look at politicians. Look at politicians, for example. Even if you don't know what happened in the land of, of other people, look at what they have been. Does it make sense that in a country that we know, in Nigeria, for example, knowing what is going there in terms of poverty and the effort that serious people in government are making, that some, some of them are serious. Oh, it's between them and Allah. But look at the number of people who want to become presidents. Look at what they can, what they will do to get themselves to qualify to become president. Some parties impose, in order to check people, they say they will pay 100 million naira to buy four. And I have, I, I, I have. Not only that, I have seen people who want to contest small elections and they go and sell their properties. They go and sell their properties. When I was serving in uh, South and Southern Africa, there was a professor that I met there. He was doing well. Doing well. And the Nigerian lecturers are highly rated there. All of a sudden, he came to me and said that he's still wanting to come and contest for the House of Red. But I told him, look, I know that there's, 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 it's not easy. He said, I know that it's not easy. That he wanted to travel to Nigeria. He traveled to Nigeria. When he got to Nigeria, I didn't know what happened. He came back and told me that, yeah, yes, they are making efforts, but he needed money. And wanted his friends and everybody, including me, to contribute money. I said, how much are you, are you trying to raise? He 